Peace in. Right, the scores on the doors, folks. No, no, you've been conned again. You've been conned again. It isn't really the scores. Well, it is the scores on the doors, but I've got no scores for you. I did say you'll start getting them again from Monday, the 7th of October, and you will. I'm good to my word. You will. Don't worry about that. But it's just so as the racing folk on it that are looking for racing messages, they know if I put that on it, scores on the doors, they'll know it to do with racing, and they'll come and have a look, hopefully. Right, all it is, I've had a few messages of a few folk. I'm not going to tell you any of them are. I'm always one to keep things to myself, you know, every confidence with me. Don't worry about that, folks. But I've had a few messages about a couple of people, and a couple of people are worried for me and worried about me. Don't. Do not worry. Don't worry. Right, just a quick answer back to them both, without mentioning any names. No names are needed at all. One chap has put some things up about me that aren't, aren't too nice. I'm not bothered at all. Doesn't interest me. One iota. Not one bit of it. If he wants to keep posting stuff up there, he can do. Not interested at all. Um, so that's that one done. That one's done. Swept away. Um, the other one, the other chap, is threatening legal action yet again. He's threatened it once before. Now, I think it's, to me, it could be about this other person, funnily enough, uh, who's put some things up about me that aren't too complimentary. But as I say, over me, head, not, not at all interested. Um, but I think it is probably to me... Um, this chap is saying again um, about things being said about him by me, by some people on the channel in comment sections, blah, 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 blah. I'll just say this, folks. He's saying legal action is on its way. Um, if it's about me, I'll just, just to answer a few bits back. He knows who I am. He knows my name. He's got uh, all my phone numbers. He's got all my emails. He's got this. He's got that. He's probably got my address. He can have anything he wants. It isn't a problem. I'm not hiding from him or anybody else. I've got nothing to hide from. He'll find nothing on me. There's no dirt. There's no nothing. There's nothing for me to worry about. Um, and also, if he thinks I should be worried because I've done something wrong and ultimately I'm going to pay a price for that, I'm not worried about that either. I've done nothing wrong. As far as I'm aware, in this country at this moment in time, you can't be banged up for telling the truth. I'm almost certain you can't. I could be wrong about it. I may be proved wrong. But he says there's a case ongoing now and within a couple of years he's going to bring me down. Well, I'll say a couple of things to that. Number one, to have somebody done, especially financially, they've got to have some money. I haven't. So he's not got much joy there. Could he get me banged up for saying the truth? Well, it's possible, although I doubt it, but it's possible. But if he can bang me, get me banged up for saying the truth... I'll then get him banged up for all the lies he tells on an almost daily basis. You know, this guy has been in the tipping industry for 35 years. He's brilliant at what he does. There's nobody any better. Well, I would suggest that's all... What do they call it in America? Bunkum? Hokum? Bunkum, I think it is. I mean, at the end of the day, we said something the other week about him. Somebody had been in his stable. They'd been given four lucky 15s or five. Say it was four over four days, 16 horses... 16 different horses, one winner at 5-2. to two. That, for me, isn't a tipster. Certainly not a successful tipster. Certainly not a tipster who should be charging folk for the privilege of losing their own money. This fellow's gone from charging a fiver for a lucky 15 to 72 pence, then back up to, is it a pound or a pound 50? And now has also brought in his early pick of the day, which he's charging something else for. He's trying to bring the different bets back in. I mean, at the end of the day, the guy can carry on doing it. I've got no axe of ground with the guy. If he comes back on YouTube, even though he's got a case on going against me, I'll carry on with what I've been doing. Because I don't think he should be on YouTube. To my mind, and this is to my mind, so this, is, this to me isn't libel. Conning people, when I say conning people, in that, He's giving people a false sense of security. He's making them feel that he's a winning tipster and he'll put money in the pocket. When ultimately, on the evidence we've seen, he won't and he doesn't. Now, some say profit and losses are for pussies. Well, one person says that. I'm not so sure it is. I think profit and losses are what are important. To, more importantly, if you're charging. If you're not charging, they're not as important. But if you're charging, I think they're very important. Because you've got to back up what you say you can do. And if you can't back it up, you shouldn't be charging. Now, this person promised one and all, 
months ago now that within four weeks he would put his profit and loss up on a daily basis that should have happened i think the first of february i'll come back from my holiday five or six days past the first of october what's that eight months now i'm not doing the math but say eight months never put a profit on loss up ever this person said he didn't mind me using his uh, profile pic because all it did was getting more people watching and got more clicks and more likes and to that end he let me use it he since come on and said i don't want you using it anymore so i've stopped this person also said all i was doing was getting him more traction and i could call him all i wanted to well where's the traction now he lost subscriber after subscriber after subscriber not because we're saying it as it is but because he's picking losing picks he's now gone from youtube and i'm pleased about that and i do hope he doesn't come back I don't like the idea of, uh, of restraints of trade. I don't want to do anybody or, or stop people earning money. But when they're earning it on the backs of what I think are many of the vulnerable people and doing it with tactics that I don't think are fair, because we know profit and loss there, it's not fair. If you're getting one win out of 16, it's only five to two, without paying for the tips, if you're betting them, you're massively down on four lucky 15s, whatever your staking plan is. Be it to a pound there, 60 quid, you've put 60 quid on. You're getting three and a half back. Is that good? Is that that you know? And how can a fella say he's a great tipster when that's all he's done? It's awful. It's worse than awful. But you take that sixty quid plus what you're paying him for the tips. All of a sudden, it's looking a lot worse. All I'm trying to do is protect what I believe to be the vulnerable. If this person comes back on YouTube and has got a profit and loss and does it, what I think is above board and legitimately and whatever else, no axe to grind with me, none whatsoever. But any from his stable or ex-stable that are doing what he's been doing, if they're losing money and losing a lot and not telling folk about it, I'm just telling folk what you're losing, betting with them. If any of them come back on it, any of them from 365 or whatever, and they consistently win, whether they've got profit and loss or not, I can't call them. I can't call them if they win on a daily basis. How can I call somebody that's charging for bets and keeps winning? But when they shout a win from the rooftops, maybe once a week or once a fortnight, and the other six or 13 days, they do the conkers in, and they're charging for that, but they're not telling folk, I'm going to shout from the rooftops, if you'd been betting with them for a, a week or a fortnight, this is how much you will have lost. Not of what you're betting, just of what you're paying them for. And you're paying for the, these folks the, to live, to go on holidays. Some of them are jetting all around the world, watching races. What a great life that is. On your candy. So, folks... I don't think I've anything to worry about. Now, let me say this as well. If I go to court with this person and these top lawyers from that there, London, from the smoke, I won't even get another brief in. I'll defend myself. I'll defend myself. Because what I'll say is, Your Honour, yes, these are things I've said. The thing is, every single email he sent to me and everything on the channel, every comment, because I don't wipe anything off the channel, I might be wrong, he might be able to delete his own comments that he sent to me, I don't know. Hopefully he can't. But I'm sure with YouTube, I can go back and every single video I've done, where I've said, he says he'll do profit and loss in a month, everybody on here will back me up that's been with the channel for that long. I can go back and in everything he's said, they can back it up. I've said him in live broadcast, he's going to do this, he's going to do that, he's going to do that. He's not putting the comments, no, I'm not, no, I'm not, no, I'm not. So everything he said he was going to do, he hasn't done. I'm a man of my word. I don't believe he's a man of ease. I think if I go to court, I think if any time in court, I think probably 5, 10, 15 or 20 of you will probably turn up in that there London support me, and I won't even ask anybody to. Because I think they'd love the idea of us winning against him. And even if they don't, I think many of you will, will be happily sending emails or letters to back up everything I'm saying. Because I know everything I'm saying is right. I know everything I'm saying is right. I mean, we've got the Sheriff of Tippingham on one side. That's the, the guy that they've all been working under. What well, as I say, I'm the Sheriff of Crappingham. If I think they're talking crap and they're earning money from giving crap tips, I'm going to keep bringing it up. And if they want to report me to YouTube, they can. All I'm doing is what YouTube should probably be doing. If YouTube tries to do anything to me, I'll say, well, look, this is all we're doing. We're just saying they're charging money for this, this, this and this. They're saying they're going to give this, this, this and this and they're not giving it. The people that are betting with them are losing and they're losing heavily, some of them. We don't think they should be doing it. And there's people on YouTube that aren't charging that are doing it the right way and being honest and fair with people. That's all we're after, parity. Everybody to be doing singing off the same hymn sheet. So, folks, I don't think I've anything to worry about. But 
if he wants to take me to court and spend a lot of his money, bring it on. Bring it on. No problem whatsoever. No problem at all. And if I've got to pay for, you know, if I get done or if I've got to pay charges, you know, just the court costs and whatever else, well, I'm not paying for legal uh, representation because I'll do it myself. And if I have any of his costs, I can go to court and pay a pound a week or five pounds a week. I, I can stretch to a fiver a week, no problem. I'll pay it till the day I die. And that's the other thing, the day I die. Going to court in two years, he says. I'm of an age now, I might not be here in two years, so I'm definitely not going to worry about that. You know, he said he's had health issues. I've had some over the last few months. I don't believe on about it, but I'm more worried about the health issues than him taking me to court. Don't bother me at all, folks. So, folks, don't worry about me. No, some have said I'm on the run in that there Spain and Tenerife. There's lots of them over here, I believe. I'm not on the run. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. I'm coming home. I've done my time. In fact, I've done no time. I'm not going to do any time. I've done nothing wrong. I'll be back on the 4th. You might not get messages. On the 7th, the scores on the doors will continue. And the Sheriff of Crappington... I'll have to change that name. But the guy that sorts out the crap, that's what I'm going to be doing from the 7th. If I see anybody on YouTube charging folks for tips and they can't back it up with those tips, I am going to mention it, folks, and I'm sure many of you will be on my side and we'll all do the same. If they're charging for tips and doing well, no problem at all. And if they're charging for tips and doing a daily profit and loss and, and people still want to bet with them, no problem at all, let them. Let them. I just don't want those coming on here, those that tell lies and charge for tips. Don't like that at all. Okay, folks, that's it from me. So it was a scores on the doors that wasn't. And am I bothered about anything? Do I look bothered? I'm a bothered. I'm a bothered. I am not bothered at all. Peace out. See you later. I did a piece in and a bit. Ringo Starr. That's where it all came from. Ringo Starr. Does it all the time. Macca does it as well. They all do that. I don't know what it is. Don't know what it is at all. They did it when Scylla died. What's that all that about? I don't get it.